Hello my lovelies, welcome back to Rouge Pat Beauty. We have Betty of course. Um, I'm going to put my face on, I've got a couple of new bits to share with you that I'm excited to try. Just going to put some moisturiser on. Um, I've got Balance Active Formula which is the Hyaluronic Moisturiser. This is day and night. Um, a lot of you have been getting in touch when I featured these on my um, Instagram you've tried the range and I know this is quite a popular range so I have the serum as well that I haven't started um, I am using the vitamin C but it's very very lightweight I do like the texture of this moisturizer it's almost like it's whipped very lightweight but it's super hydrating obviously with the hyaluronic holding the moisture to the skin um, but yes I've uh, I've enjoyed using it so far but it's fairly new in my routine so um, I don't want to uh, call it just yet. I'm not putting any SPF on today because I'm not going out so we'll leave that but yes I, I like this I like the sort of lightweight texture but you feel as though it's really great on the skin um, a nice finish and so far it's worked well with any bases I've used so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple of things. I've got the Chanel Corrector. This is in um, 30. It's slightly darker, but my skin has got a hint of colour. Um, so I'm just sort of prepping the area. Hope you're all well. We've had some amazing weather and then we've had some crazy rainy weather. Um, but it's so warm today. It's quite grey and cloudy today. Um, but it's really really warm and I've had to close the windows because it's really noisy outside it's a bit too warm for my liking we're never happy are we we moan when it's cold and we moan when it's hot right give that a couple of minutes I'm going to use a favorite of mine which is the hourglass illusion skin tint that I absolutely love um, really really great product pop that on um, we were We'd come to bed actually last night and we sleep with the curtains open. Um, we'll stop half and half because uh, we look out onto the sea and it's so lovely on an evening and lights are twinkling across the water and it's just, it's so relaxing. The only thing else, the only thing is you wake up early because you're woken up by the light so we're always awake super early but um, there was the Coast Guard helicopter flying around last night which um, always makes your heart sink a little bit that there's something um, seriously wrong obviously for them to be called out but um, Craig has this fabulous app um, because he sails it's part of what he does but um, it tells you sort of what's out there what's on the water and he could actually clock where the um, Coast Guard was and where the lifeboat was because the lifeboat had been called out as well um, so he was able to see where they were sort of around so they were obviously looking for somebody but it's funny you lie in bed and you just see the sort of flicker of this helicopter flying flying around but um, it went off after about 45 minutes I think could have been half an hour 45 minutes um, but I've not seen anything this morning um, sometimes I think it's better not to know but uh, at the lifeboat station they always put a board out to tell you what calls what shouts they've been on um, which a lot of people find really interesting but the RNLI um, yeah they do the most amazing work and they go out in the most horrific conditions so it's always a worthy cause if you've got a little bit of change in your pocket and you see the RNLI pop a couple of coins in um, it all it all helps but um, yes we were just sort of lying in bed listening to the helicopter and uh, watching it I just hope everything was was okay often they get shouts and it's just a boy in the water and people aren't familiar if you're not familiar with the sea and you see something and it can look different or there's a seal in the water because we have quite a few seals in in our harbour people just spot that and think they've seen something else so um, yeah sometimes the shouts aren't aren't real ones but uh, they go out all the same and it's treated very seriously but uh, yes we were watching that from our bed last night 
Right, I've been using this palette. This is my palette of the week and that's what I'm trying to do. I have too many eye palettes, I admit it. Um, I'm just easily swayed when a new one comes out and I'm determined to see if I really love them that much. So I'm gonna use them for a week and if I really enjoy using them, I'm gonna keep them. If I find that I'm a bit mm about them, I'm going to pass them forward to somebody else. But the Zoeva Cocoa Blend palette, I really, really love and I haven't used it enough. So I've been doing various bits and pieces with that. Um, just remembered, this is what I needed to share with you, which is a new concealer I wanted to try. It's from IT Cosmetics and it's their Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. Um, you can actually get this now from Selfridges and QVC because um, I was interested in the cleansing balm as well which I got but I've heard wonderful things about this I've got the shade medium um, which is still fairly light but I'm just going to use um, if it's going to come out the tube it's really tough to get out just a tiny tiny amount because I've never used this one before and when you see sort of full coverage and waterproof you know it's going to be quite quite sturdy so I'm just going to pop that under the eye it's still a fairly light shade um the medium you still want something that's going to reflect the light if you're counteracting dark circles so you don't want anything that's too sort of matching to your skin color but um i do like to sometimes go a little bit darker but that's actually quite quite nice when it's blended away um i think this is one the kind of uh, concealer that actually will work best using the warmth of your finger rather than a brush it is very very thick but it does sort of dissolve into quite a soft finish hmm okay just into the eye corners where I tend to be darkest yes that's I quite Yes, quite like that. It's lighter than expected, but you only need a very, very tiny amount. A very, very tiny amount. You can always add more if you want to after, but um, yeah, I like that. If you can hear snoring, it's Betty. She snores so well. I often have to give her a nudge in the night because she keeps me awake with her snoring. Right, I'm going in with the Cocoa palette now. Um, this is a crease brush from Lab 2. I don't know where you can get these now. They used to be super drug, but they don't stock them any longer. I think maybe Amazon, if you like Lab 2 brushes, which I do, um, Amazon might be a good place to try. They are always quite reliable. Right, I'm going in with Freshly Toasted, which is this sort of red brick tone. Not a colour I would normally go for, but I'm determined to sort of use palettes thoroughly and I'm just going to push that into the crease now I have quite droopy eyelids um, especially now as I'm getting older so they do sort of it does disappear so I often take the colour a little bit higher than the crease I'm not applying it tidily as you can see I'm just pressing it on pushing the colour on it will all come out with the blending. I'm not taking it under the eye, just leaving it on the top. So we got some, um, we braved being Q um, over the weekend, which can often be absolutely horrendous. But it was quiet when we arrived, it was packed when we left, but we got some solar lights for the garden. We've got a couple, um, but you, you know, over years with raining everything, they get distorted and they don't work. So we bought some more and uh, Craig put them in the garden and they were sort of interfering with Betty's footballing because she, she loves playing football and she actually headbutted one and broke it. Um, Craig's fixed it and he's moved all the lights again now so they're not in her football pitch area but it was so funny she was thoroughly irritated that these lights were where she kicked her ball around so she just went into it like a bull in a china shop. There you go, they really are stubborn bulldogs. Right, I'm going to use the um, Subtle Blend, which is this beautiful iridescent shade here. The red brick one I used is a matte, um, a matte finish. And I'm just gonna use a MAC 217, and I'm just gonna push that over the mobile lid, over most of the mobile lid, maybe not quite into the inner corner. 
so yes it was funny watching Craig having to reseat all these solar lights because Betty was objecting to where they were same color and I'm just going to feed it under the eye as well Then a 227 from Zoeva and I'm just going to use again an iridescent shade which is Sweeter End which is that nice sort of pinky tone. I'm just going to take that on the inner corner of the eye. Um, seagull update, we've got a few baby seagulls around, they grow so fast. Bernard is still around. Um, he comes back every year and sits on the chimney pot as you know and plays havoc and squawks a lot but yeah he's back and in fine fine voice and getting used to Betty being in what he obviously classes as his garden um, but yes he's, they're all looking pretty well we do have one seagull that's still sitting on her nest um, and nothing's happening which is quite sad really I don't think anything is going to happen um, because she's been sat on that nest a long, long time. Um, and I think the male seagulls disappeared. There only seems to be one seagull. There were two around and they took it in turns. But I've only seen one for quite some time now. So it's quite sad. I don't know what happens. I don't know whether they suddenly realise that nothing's happening and there are no eggs. Maybe there is an egg. I've no idea. I can't see. Or whether they just get bored, but it's quite sad to see all the others with all their little babies and she's just sat there on this nest. Um, it, it, it's, it's quite sad and she's very quiet as well. When you sort of go past, she was quite noisy at one point, but she doesn't make a lot of noise. So uh, I feel a bit sad about that one. Um, I'll, keep, I'll keep watching. Right, we're just going to blend all those colours together. This is actually a crease brush from Zoeva, but it's so great for just blending and amalgamating colour and just taking it up to the brow just spreading that colour out right so that's the brows I'm going to use um, a by Terry on Burt Blackstar to actually line the top of my lids I've been doing this quite a lot rather than using hard eyeliner and um, this is shade 13 which is brown perfection I love the depth of this so I'm just running this along my lash line quite roughly but it sort of adheres and sticks to the lashes so you still get that eyeliner look but without the harshness and I just use my fingers to just sort of blend it to the point that I want but I do like these right so that's the brows I'm going to use um, a by Terry on Burt Blackstar to actually line the top of my lids. I've been doing this quite a lot rather than using hard eyeliner. Um, this is shade 13 which is brown perfection. I love the depth of this. So I'm just running this along my lash line quite roughly but it sort of adheres and sticks to the lashes. So you still get that eyeliner look but without the harshness and I just use my fingers to just sort of blend it to the point that I want but I do like these. And I'm just going to use a pencil brush, same one that I use for under the eyes and I'm just going to soften just that line down slightly, just blend it in. I also find that by Terry they don't transfer to your brow bone which is great if you have droopy eyelids. I'm just going to leave that to settle a few minutes and I have my favourite powdered highlighter which is Pixie and Aspen Ovard. Um, just the most fantastic powder. Um, I know I've raved about this but um, it looks as though it's going to be quite sparkly and heavy on the face but it really isn't. It's so delicate, absolutely amazing. I'm just going to put that here. It gives the most beautiful finish. And then I have this amazing, fabulous, you've seen this, the size of my head bronzer, Soleil, which is from Superdrug. And I love the tone of this. It looks quite dark, but it's absolutely beautiful. And it has a grey undertone, which works beautifully to give the sort of warmth to the skin, but also a great shadow to the skin. It's a great powder if you like contouring. Um, I'm just adding warmth, but... You can do either. So I tend to do sort of an E 
on my face. Often start with a C and then go into an E and under the chins. But a really, really good powder. Love this. Mascara. I have the Miss Sporty Fabulous Lash Mascara. I have the most amazing blue mascara that I'm going to um, feature in a blog post from Lola Beauty, which is, oh, it's just fabulous. Um, and on dark lashes like mine, it's not as stark. So if you really want to wear colour or you fancy wearing an electric blue in the summer, you can actually get away with it with dark lashes. And if you've got light lashes, you can always prime them first with a darker shade if you want to, but it's such a fabulous colour. But what I want to do is show you one of the lipsticks that they've uh, sent to me. It's a red lipstick, surprise. Right, this is it, this is the Lola. Um, it's called Red Velvet 114 and it's matte. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? Oh, just love it. Really, really love that colour. These are the matte ones. They are limited edition, but really nice. And they don't feel too drying on the lips, but that colour, that's really, really good. Really strong colour. Love it. And then for blusher, I'm going to use one of the eyeshadows. Um, I'm just going to use a little bit of Warm Notes, which is this eyeshadow here because you can use things for different things. Just a tiny hint of colour, just there. Finish off all nighter setting spray, essential in the hot weather. I've gone out and come home and my makeup's looked exactly the same as when I put it on. So just, I need it all the time, but great in the summer weather. And there we go. It's also cooling as well. It lowers the temperature of your makeup, um, which works an absolute treat. But that's it. I'm leaving the hair as it is because I've washed it. So it's just going to be a wet, hanging, horrible mess if I take it down. But that's my makeup. Thank you for joining me. And I'll be back soon with another video. I think Betty stopped snoring now. See you later.